All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we are going to explain uh, the reason of the confusion the Muslims they have. Uh, yesterday we made a video uh, about the evolution in according to Muslims articles, and uh, I don't know if you notice there is a guy his name uh, he called himself Abram something. Uh, he posted uh, in YouTube uh, in the same video uh, a lot of uh, name calling. And he was explaining to us that Adam is not the first uh, man. However, uh, today he took it off because it looked like he, he found that he is a donkey. Uh, he was calling me a donkey for saying that. And he was posting a lot. Uh, you know, what Muslims they do, they are copy-based. However, the point is, Muslims are so confused. And there is a reason for this confusion. As you see in the front of me, this is Islam. Uh, uh, religion.com website uh, which is a funny website anyway but as you see in the top it says the first man the story of Adam part 1 to 5 the first man so here in this website the Muslims they believe Adam is the first man but in this website the Muslims believe Adam is not the first man why what is the reason because the Quran is written by a bunch of idiots and it's full of confusion and they say based in chapter 2 verse number 30 the Quran says it clearly that he will make a successor so they said well how he will make a successor unless there is people before him and that absolutely makes sense however we explained before in the previous video that most likely the true uh, uh, word in the Quran it was not a successor it was khaliqa which means creation but because the Arabic was without dots so later the those who they are the you know they collect the Quran they added uh, instead of saying khaliqa uh, it says uh, it says khalifa which means a caliphate caliphate means a successor so uh, those people who believe in this uh, part of a religion of Islam that they believe that there is people who exist before Adam and they are you know uh, trying to point fingers at uh, uh, supposedly what it's called people exist uh, thousands and thousands of years ago or millions of years ago which is, is for me it's a rubbish you know uh, you, you see the reason of that by the way if the Quran really speaking about a successor as we see in the front of us and this is actually what this verse is saying uh, I mean if there is no mistake in the manuscript uh, that explain what Muhammad source is because the Sabian they believe that before Adam Adam is not the first man the Sabian they believe exactly that there is uh, previous generation was exist before Adam and they commit great sin so God he destroyed them and then he created Adam and Eve and he made a new let us say uh, a new start for mankind so this is what the idea of the Sabian and we know that Muhammad was called a Sabian for a long time so it, if this is correct this is what the verse meant that's mean uh, Muhammad is just copying what the Sabian believe now in the Quran you see Muhammad is a, is a person who say a lot of stupid things because he is making religion as a collection of religions if we go to the Quran we will find that in chapter 2 verse number 35 it says clearly that Allah he said uh, to uh, Adam and his wife uh, to enter upon the garden you know uh, so like you and your wife go and enter it and uh, you know etc so uh, uh, the, the the Quran is speaking here of uh, of an Adam uh, of a man and a woman and you know uh, you see here in the Muslim translation chapter 2 verse number 35 every Muslim he give you his own version of the Quran because as we said like here you will see the word wife in different verse in different translation does not appear so here it says clearly that there's a man and there's a wife if we go in the hadith we will see that Muhammad he in, uh, in this hadith said it clearly that uh, uh, you know uh, Allah he created the mountains uh, the clay etc and he gave every creation a day so he created the the clay in Saturday the mountains in uh, uh, Sunday uh, the trees in Monday etc and then at the end he says that Allah he created Adam on Friday 
in the last hours of Friday afternoon and that destroy all the stupid stories Muslim they try to say that the Quran does not speak of the six days as six days it was six period of time and even some of them they try to make it as billions of years as we saw in if you read my book uh, Quran and science uh, in, in depth you will see how the Muslims I, I got them busted with their lies would would no would, would like uh, Muhammad is my helper always to get the Abdul busted with their lies, as you see here, Muhammad is naming every day of a creation and what was created, and he called it Saturday, Sunday, Friday. So this is not a period of time, or uh, 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 equal to millions. Saturday is Saturday, Monday is Monday, and Tuesday, and here even it says it clearly, afternoon. You see. Even in, in, in the Muslim translation, it says in the last hour of uh, uh, of a Friday. But the fact in Arabic, it doesn't say really the last hour. It says Bada Asr, which means in the afternoon, like in the like at the end of the afternoon. So uh, uh, the the explanation of Muhammad is so clear about the timing and how it is. So all those articles are just the fictions and just to try to make you believe that the Quran there is some kind of mystery of science and discovery and uh, uh, like amazing stuff when the fact it's a stupid it's a contradiction if you notice with me here actually the Quran says in many places that Allah he created the earth and the heaven and everything in six days but if you count with me here the days you will find Muhammad he made a stupid mistake as usual he made them seven and as you see Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then we go to a Tuesday. Regardless of what he created between, you can count, you can read yourself. Wednesday, and then Thursday, and then a Friday. Total is seven days. So how the Quran says in many places that there are six days, and now we found that it is seven days. As I said, Islam is a chain of contradictions, and Muhammad is a madman the more he talk the more he do poo poo you know in order to know somebody if he is wise or or stupid let him talk as long he is he keep his mouth shut you will not know he might even look like a genius you can dress him but uh, give him some uh, glasses make him wear a suit uh, make him carry a samsonite in his hand you will think he is a professor he is a genius but the second he start talking he start doing you know what we call poo poo so muhammad Always he do that. Always he, uh, you know, get himself busted and he says stupid things. And it is all of it is a contradiction of each other. Now, in the same time here, uh, uh, we have other hadith actually I mentioned yesterday, but we did not explain very much. If we go in this story here, you will see how Muhammad he said uh, 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 very crazy stuff. Uh, as an example, uh, according to Muhammad, that. Uh, uh, let us see here. No, 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 no. All right. Let us switch. I will show you the hadith. So, what the hadith is saying that when Allah He created Adam, He did not create him by having sex between. I mean, uh, I mean, created us uh, uh, by sex between Adam and Eve. The creation of us happened by uh, by Allah hitting the shoulder of Adam. You remember the hadith about the white and the black i'm not going to mention it for now uh but i will i will i will concentrate in this hadith here because this is the one is in english uh let us see um someone of you asked me like if you can i if i can pause the reference down usually i don't really prefer the, like prepare the reference I just make them right away. I mean, I, I pick them up right away. Uh, <clears throat> All right. Let's go and find the hadith. And you will see now what I'm talking about. Here we go. According to the story, according to Muhammad, the one is talking, remember, is Muhammad. So the dump story here is coming from the dump Muhammad himself, which is an amazing dump person. He said and he claimed, and not this is not my words, Muslims, just watch carefully and laugh with me. According to your prophet, 
that when Allah he created Adam he created us in, in the same day look what he said that the messenger of Allah SAW a BM Mercedes Benz 200 said when Allah created Adam he whipped his back and every person that he that he created among his offspring until the day of resurrection fell out of his back so what is the point of Adam and Eve and this is a story you Muslims you keep telling us about I mean it's stupid stories you know either your prophet is a crazy man or you Muslims are a bunch of a crazy which one is the correct version of the story Adam was a created and then Allah he made Eve and then they have sex and then we have they have kids or Allah he hit the back shoulder of Adam and he made all mankind created in us in, in the spot in a second and not only that after he created us supposedly Allah then he placed all a, 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 a array of light I mean this is a fiction story very nice between the eyes of every person then he showed them to Adam all of us do you know how many trillions of people will be and they, like how many billions of people they die already and how many billions will die in the future and all of those enter the judgment they are placed in the front of Adam and look what happened my friend when Adam he saw them Adam he said to to to, to Allah who are they he said those are your offspring he saw one of them who whose ray between his eyes amazed him imagine like let us say let us make the number small. Let us say from, from the beginning of time until the end of the time, it was only 100 billion human beings exist. But Adam was able to spot one person who have an amazing ray between his eyes. I mean, how stupid, how dumb this story is. So everything about Islam is nothing but a mad, crazy stories made by a madman, uh, or it's a copy of collection of uh, 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 fabulous stories and I believe this story is something Muhammad he copied from the Jews because you notice here that Adam he noticed only the eyes of David he did not notice the eyes of Muhammad he noticed an eye of a man his name is David I mean who is David why David is so much his uh, why his eyes uh, uh, like so amazing to Adam what about Muhammad? I thought Muhammad is the best man of mankind. So this is a story. Muhammad the fool, he copied from the Jews, he copy, he paste. And this is exactly what the Muslims, they do. Garbage in, garbage out. And you notice always that the more this man Muhammad he speak, the more he do poo-poo. And look here, there is something additional before we finish. You will see here the story continue which is more make it more funny and more stupid so he said Lord who is this he said this man is from the later nation of your offspring called the, the wood which mean David he said Lord how long did you make his life span he said 60 years he said oh Lord add 40 years from my life so to his so the end of Adam life I mean <laughs> Guys, Adam is giving from his life to to David. I mean, <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And you Muslims, you tell me you have a religion. You have a bunch of dumb, stupid stories. And this is your cult. And this is how funny. Hey, Adam, can I borrow from you like two hundred years? I mean, Adam is like a guy who work in Home Depot, and he is giving his uh, he, he giving years to others. Hey, who who is this guy? This is a Christian prince. Oh Allah, can you make his ears shorter? I hate this guy. I don't like his IRA. Like what the heck? This is how stupid. This is how dumb this religion. And thank you for watching. And join us tomorrow at four thirty. Oh, sorry, at four p.m. for fifteen minute videos. And God bless you. And see you soon again. This is a Christian prince teaching you about the dump Muhammad and his followers the dump Muslims I hope you've been informed and you learned God bless and see you tomorrow bye bye